Anthony Graves was welcomed by Houston abolitionists, local activists, and members of the peace and justice movement at Shape Community Center this afternoon. While Anthony says the $1.4 million will help him build a new life, it can't replace his loss of freedom. I'm happy about the money, but let's not forget it wasn't a lottery that I won. I lost 18 years of my life, you know, and if I had a choice between the money and 18 years, I would take the 18 years. After 18 years of fighting, Anthony says there's one more thing he wants, his name cleared. What I wish now is that for the state of Texas, to not only this, to give me some type of decree that says I'm actually innocent, okay, then that's when the fight is over for me, as for as this particular fight. Uh, I've, I filed a lawsuit against the Attorney General's office asking them to do just that. And it seems like it's going to be a fight just to get that done. Since Anthony walked free in October of last year, he's been a busy man. He works as an investigator for the Texas Defender Service in Austin, and he recently traveled to Europe for a speaking tour. But he says it's been hard fitting into today's society. Everything, your sense of direction, you've been gone for 18 years, you know. And then it's just like they take you and they just throw you on a new planet and say survive the best way you can. So, you know, you come out of there, you see technology has changed. Just every, I mean, just everything around you has changed. So what you may have taken for granted every day, you know, it's kind of still scary to me. And as for his future, he's doing what he wants to be doing, fighting against the very institution that almost took his life away, the death penalty. Everybody focused on the money. But what about the fact that I almost lost my life? What about the 18 years that were stolen from me? What are we going to do about that? How are we going to make sure that it doesn't happen to your neighbor, that it doesn't happen to your friend, or it doesn't happen to your dad? You know, you know this, is not, this is not a feel-good moment. It's sort of bittersweet for me because I gave up so much just to get a little. You know, I, I almost lost my life. Where's the outrage? This chose me. I didn't choose this. This chose me, and that has given me some sense of purpose and, and direction about how I want to live my life now and where I want to take it. Kristen Kane, Fox 26 News. Graves will not receive the $1.4 million all at once. He'll get 80000 every year for the next 18 years. He says he will spend some on his mom, but he says he's going to be very frugal with the money and very wise.